What is up YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not one of my subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. We got tons of home theater videos, all helping you guys make an educated buying decision, even showing real life situations to give you guys some inspiration on your theater. Now, if you don't know, now you know we are a nationwide authorized Focal dealer and I'm just so thrilled to offer this line to you. We're going to be doing a series of unboxing videos, shootout videos, comparison videos, and then real life install videos. So subscribe to the channel guys if you aren't already. Today we're going to be doing the 100 series LCR and the 300 series LCR. Huge variances in price and we're going to discuss the differences between the two right after the intro. Let's do it! All right guys, I'm gonna bring you up close and personal with these speakers and discuss some of the differences. Check it out. This is the 300 series. And guys, I did an in-depth unboxing of this, so I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet. We got a MSRP coming in right under 1200 bucks each on this guy. So price is dramatically different between the two units, but the performance is dramatically different as well. Over here, we have a price of 299, 300 bucks MSRP. Again, guys, make sure to reach out. We do guarantee the lowest price with nationwide free shipping on all the products we sell. All right, let's bounce back to the 300 series. As you can see, the tweeter design is different. We got an aluminum magnesium inverted dome tweeter right here in the 300 series. And we have a aluminum inverted dome tweeter here on the 100 series. Now, this is rotatable like this so that you can direct the audio towards your target seating area, which is very nice. Again, this is only a $300 MSRP speaker. You got HF and mid-level adjustments back over here on the 300 series. This whole entire mid-range driver rotates so that you can adjust that dependent on your orientation, which I really like. And again, HF mid-level adjustments right there on the front. Now, let's talk about the woofers. We got six and a half inch dual woofers, and these are flax woofers on the 300 series. Let's bounce over here to the 100 series. These are five and an eighth inch dual woofers. Let's spin it around so you can see the back as well. Still a really good speaker, guys. 300 bucks, can't beat it. Now, the woofer makeup is different on these. This is a polyglass. A lot less expensive for the manufacturer to make. So, five and an eighth polyglass, six and a half inch flax woofers. Now this is actually what they use on their higher end tower speakers as well. So you can get tower speakers and combine them with the architectural speakers on both of these lines so that they match throughout the entire system. I know a lot of my clients like to do the um, towers in the front for better performance and then in walls for the rest. So we got you covered. All right, let's spin this bad boy around. Huge weight difference too, guys. All right, let's take a look. Side by side here. Still a really well-built speaker for this price range. But this guy over here is a monster. Keep in mind, with this as a center, the 300 series, you're gonna need to have a contractor or one of our preferred installers do the work because putting it into a traditional 16 inch stud bay is not gonna be 
very easy. You're gonna have to etch out your studs or reframe the wall because of how big it is. This guy, on the other hand, can slip right into a standard 16 inch stud. Now what you probably will be doing on this guy, if you're gonna be using it in a dedicated home theater space, is just put it behind your acoustically transparent screen. That way you don't have to worry about it and you can just orient it uh, vertically instead of horizontal. Now, let's talk a little bit of spec. You got 40 hertz crossover on this bad boy here. So it hits low. And look at the size of those magnets. And then you're at 55 hertz on this guy, the 100 series, which is expected. And you're at a 25 watt to, I think it's at 120 watt uh, recommended power amp on this guy. And you're at 50 to 150 watts recommended power amp on this. I hope this helps you guys and make a buying decision. You know, it's, it's hard to see on the internet, you know, just looking at stock photos, you know, the difference, you know, you're, you're just looking at a price tag and then the specs. I mean, this is like laid out pretty straightforward, right? It's a massive unit and well worth the money. All right, guys. Well, that is a wrap on the Focal 100 series and 300 series in wall LCR comparison video. Huge differences between the two, and I hope seeing it in a video really helps you guys make an educated buying decision. If you still don't know what you need, or maybe you need just a complete system design, we do offer a free design service. Our audio video consultants will be happy to walk you through all of the different options and find something that fits your exact needs and your budget. We really appreciate y'all's support. We do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee throughout the whole US. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Until next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.